Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Spoony Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer Taz 19 video. Today I'm doing a tutorial on Super Council and this is hopefully going to take your game to the next level. What is Super Council? So Super Council is primarily used by many players to cancel actions such as passes, shots, lobs, crosses, through balls, etc. And I think that was the intention by Konami when they introduced it. However, it also allows for a complete freedom of movement when sometimes your player will magnetize to the ball. This has allowed me to come up with creative ways to do things other players and the AI, AI aren't expecting, which I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So how do you activate Super Council? You must hold R, T and RB, so your right trigger and right bumper on Xbox, or R1 and R2 if you're on PlayStation. If you've seen my defending goal kicks tutorial, this is very similar. This isn't a goal kick, obviously, he's played the ball back. And you can see on the mini map, as soon as my player is selected, I'm holding Super Council and the left analog stick to the left. The reason we do this is because normally your player will magnetize to the back of your opponent and he will just hold you off and win the header very, very easily. So what we're doing here is we're actually getting in front of him and then once your player appears on the on your screen you just need to release all your controls and he will sort of fall back into the flight of the ball and you'll be able to easily win the header. At this stage you just want to press any of the following so shoot to clear or pass to a pass to a nearby player or through ball which will produce like a through ball header and that will go to one of your players hopefully. And in this clip you can see how effective it is that allows me to break and create an, uh, create an opportunity which I actually score from. So this is one more example of winning a header from a goal kick. So in this example it's slightly different. I'm actually going to move my player around to basically attack the ball from the side. Once again, just release all your controls. This will allow your player just to drift into the right position. Then just tap the relevant button that you want to perform. So whether it's a pass, a shot, a through ball, etc. This is actually one of my favorite examples of using Super Council. So you can see here that I've just played a, a kick out from the goalie. To this player here now normally he would take a touch and you can see there he's getting closed down by two players from that from that angle and he would lose the ball so what i'm going to do is use super cancel and just move away from the ball but then spin in to that massive amount of space that you can see on the mini map at the bottom of the screen because if i um, head it down to cassie he is going to be very very closely marked by their player Super Council can also be used in defensive situations as well. So in this example, you're going to see me position my player's body between his player and the ball. And this is especially useful when you've got a slow defender against a fast striker, because you can use the strength attributes against, say, a pacey player like Ronaldo or Walcott, for example. It's got through. So in this clip, they've just played the ball to their striker. And what happened here is normally I'd be magnetized to that player. But I'm anticipating that he's going to actually lay the ball off. So by holding Super Council, I won't get magnetized to that player receiving the ball. And I'm going to follow straight through and try and tackle the player he's going to lay the ball off to. It's not too risky because I can see I've got cover at the back there that I've highlighted with the circle. And just watch this uh, little clip play out. Super Council is also useful for leaving the ball. So sometimes, you know, when it's going to go out for a goal kick or a corner kick or a throw in, and your player runs in and takes a heavy touch and gives the opponent a goal kick, a corner kick or a throw in, for example. So what you can do is use Super Council just to leave the ball 
So you haven't taken a touch. And that means you haven't turned over possession to your opponent. And out to safety. So as I explained in my defending tutorials, it's best to run into the player and then tap X. But in this example, I've tapped X too late and I'm actually gonna pass the ball and I wanna cancel that action. So to do that, just hold the super cancel and that will cancel my passing action and allows me to turn with the ball. Cancelling a shot at the edge of the box, the penalty box, is very effective, even on Superstar, often causing the AI to produce a sliding tackle, and you can leave him for dead, which is really, really effective. No, that's not the ball he wanted. And that concludes this tutorial, ladies and gents. So let me just say that there are a couple more examples of Super Cancel that I'd recommend you checking out on my channel. There's one for defending goal kicks, and also for headers and volleys. I will leave links in the description so be sure to check those out. Thank you for watching and I will catch you again in my next video. Please leave a like and if you want to subscribe that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks guys and I'll catch you again. Cheers guys. Bye bye.